Hi everyone, it's Ken here. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own light effect file. So here we see the LE files interface. Over here on the right you can see a list of LE files that has already been created. If you want to create a new one, you can just go down here, click on the plus sign, and then you can type in a name. And then click create. Now you have the new LE file created. Just click on the pencil sign over here to start editing. Before you can assign light effects, first click on this first frame. The frame defines which keys you want lights to be added to. And by default, no keys will have light. If you want any keys to have light, you have to click on frame and then select the keys that you want to have light effect. Save this light effect file now. Go back to configurations and choose the LE file that I've just created and apply. You can see here on the keyboard, this is what I see. By default, it just shows white light. Now let's go back to the LE file and let's edit it further. Let's click on frame again. You also have other options down here. If I click on first line, everything in the first line will light up. You could also click on all to have all the keys light up or click on none so that no keys will light up. Let's say now I just want the first line of keys to light up. Once I've selected the keys that I want to have lights, I can now click on the effect over here and start editing. By default, it already has a monochrome effect in the color red. Notice that when I click on this effect, all the lights are now off. And this is because I haven't assigned the effect to the keys. And I can do that by clicking on the keys. So if I save now, go to the configurations again and apply This is what I see on my keyboard. And the keys that I haven't assigned a light effect to are still showing a white light. Let's go back and assign more light effects. If I click on this again, it tells me which keys have this light effect. If I want another light effect, I just click on the plus sign and notice that I have three options. Monochrome is simply one color. RGB means it will rotate between different colors. And breathing means it will have a breathing effect. So lights will turn on and off. Let's go for a RGB effect. When it comes to RGB, the parameter is very important. By default, it puts 30. And 30 means rotates between 30 different colors. And the first color will be red. So if I change this parameter to 1 and leave this as red, this will be exactly the same as monochrome. So if I apply this now and click save, go to configurations and apply this to my keyboard. And this is what I see on my keyboard. The RGB doesn't change to another color because the parameter is set to 1. Let's go back and change the parameter to 2. And click Save. Go to Configurations, apply this. And you can see now it rotates between red and blue. In order for the RGB to look a bit better, we want to add more colors into the rotation. So we want to increase the parameter. If we go back to the default 30, and we can take a look at the keyboard again, and you can see that now it is rotating between 30 different colors, and it's looking a lot better. Say now I want to add some light effects to WASD. I first have to go to frame, and select WASD in order to add light effect to them. 
if I don't enable them in frame, even if I add the light effects to them, they will not light up. So it's very important that I enable them first. So now they are enabled, I could go and click on plus and let's do a breathing effect. And you should see two parameters over here. So the first parameter controls the length between each breath. And the second parameter controls how long the breath is. If we leave them at the default value, apply this breathing effect to our WASD. Let's save and take a look. It looks like it's just flashing. And this is because the length between each breath is very short. And the length of each breath is also very short. Let's go back to the LE file and edit that. So it looks better. So when it comes to breathing, there's breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in is like bringing the light from 0% to 100%. And breathing out is the reverse light goes from 100% to 0%. So the second parameter controls this length of breathing. Let's change this value from 1 to 10 and save and you should see the difference. And you see now how each breath is longer from 0% to 100% light and from 100% light to 0% light. And if we want to change the interval between each breath That would be the first parameter. If we change that to 10, you should see that the time that it stays at 100% and the time that it stays at 0% is now longer. And now you can experiment and see what you like to do, which light effect to assign to which keys, and come up with something creative. Thank you for watching.